Tommy, Ara, and Seabird are on a cruise ship. Our hard-working heroes are at last taking a well-deserved vacation. They plan to rest, relax, and thoroughly enjoy themselves. Certainly no harm could reach them in the middle of the ocean, or could it? You know what to do. Tommy and Aura are not to make it to Greenland. Half now. Half when the job is done. I'll be in touch by radio. First mate. Yes, Captain. Full speed ahead. Aye, aye, sir. Ah, vacation at last. Sun, calm blue sea, a refreshing drink. At last, no more graphite. End of the journey, a little relaxation. Soon we'll be in Canada, and from there, a short plane ride to Greenland. Ugh, this fruit juice is a little rough. <laughs> Let's give some to Aura. Aura? Look, Seabert, she's actually sleeping like that. Women, they'll do anything for a suntan. I've got an idea. Come on, Seabert. Shipwreck! Shipwreck! We're sinking! <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Real cute! I suppose you think this is funny. Aw, oh, come on, Aura. It was only a joke, right, Seabert? I've had it with the two of you. I guess she wasn't too amused. Maybe she's got a point. We might have gone a little too far. Boys and their pranks. I'm completely soaked. He spoiled my suntan. She's been gone an hour. She must really be mad. Come on, let's look for her and apologize. Aura! Aura! Come on, Aura! I'm sorry! Aura, where are you? Seabird, be serious. She must be sulking in her cabin. Let's go see. Aura! Maybe she's in the dressing room. Aura! Aura, are you here? She's not on deck, not in the game room, not in her cabin. Where could she be? What have you got there, Seabird? Return to Europe at once and Aura will come to no harm. Never come back to Greenland. Graphite, graphite, him again. Is he on board? Doesn't he ever give up? We have to find Aura. She has to still be on board. We'll search from top to bottom, even if we have to tear the ship apart piece by piece. Calling graphite. Calling graphite. Graphite here. Phase one accomplished. Phase two next. The seal and Tommy will be taken care of. Good job. Keep me informed over and out. Ah, there you are. Take over, will you? I believe I'll have a nap in my cabin. Yes, sir. You go that way, and I'll try along here. Keep your eyes open. Don't miss a thing. I know him. 
He belongs to Tommy and Aura. I saw them on TV. Oh, yeah, I remember now. They're the ones that save animals all over the world. I saw them on deck today. Wait, little seal, I've got just a thing for you. A nice slice of tuna! How'd you like that? And that's for dessert! <laughs> <laughs> so, Seabert, did you find anything? Seabert, you stuffed yourself while Aura's being held prisoner. I was counting on you. I found nothing, and I've looked everywhere. She must be locked in a passenger's cabin. I suggest you follow me. Well, you shouldn't have stuffed yourself. There, that's the right height. You should be able to see through the portholes into the cabins now. Okay, Siebert, you know the signal. Once means yes. Twice means no. Got it? See anything? What? Nothing? Okay, I'll take you to the next porthole. Ugh, ugh. My turn. My dear girl, please pay attention. Yes, it's your bid. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, a pair. A pair of what? A pair of baby seals. Are you crazy? Oh, I'm sorry, I thought. like a flying seal. Boy, are you spooked. What happened down there? You were scared by someone playing a guitar? What did he do? I'm not too sure what you're trying to tell me, Seabert, but I'd better go check it out. Any strange goings on might have something to do with Aura. Well, I hear the music. We must be close. Wow, it's the offenders. Hello. Is that a seal you've got there? That must be the little fellow we scared after death earlier. I don't believe it. It's really the offenders. That's right, mate. In the flesh. What can we do for you, old chap? Oh, right. Well, you see, my pet seal here saw you guys through the porthole, and something you did really scared him. Yeah, we saw him peering in. We were just practicing our show. It must have been the explosion effect that got your little friend so frightened. Explosion? Yes, they're quite harmless. Not real explosives, just light and a loud noise to make our acts more exciting. Oh, yeah. I've seen you guys do that on TV. Is that what scared you, Seabird? Now do you understand there's nothing to be afraid of, Seabird? I'm very sorry to have bothered you guys, but it's great to meet you. I'm a big fan. And we are great fans of yours, too. Aren't you Tommy, the one who saves animals all over the world? That's me, but it's nothing really. But we think what you're doing is wonderful. If there's ever anything we can do to help, just say the word. Thanks. I may need it sooner than you think, but I've really got to be going now. I don't think even the offenders could help me find Aura. I think we've done all we can on our own, Siebert. I've got to go tell the captain. He's the only one who can help us now. Uh, excuse me, sir. I must speak to the captain. It's urgent. The captain's not in. I'm the first mate. Now, what do you want? Read this. Well, you'd better go back to Europe. No way. At least not because of any threat. Young man, it is advisable. No. Graphite can't threaten me. I want you to help find Aura. Get up a search party. You're responsible for the safety of the passengers. It's your ship. Okay, I'll handle it. Now get off the bridge. I'll let you know if I find anything. But I want to help. No, no, I don't need your help. You'll just get in the way. Now get out. Okay, let's go, Seabird. <laughs> he doesn't seem to take Aura's disappearance too seriously. You can tell he doesn't know graphite. It's the seal! What's that 
that you've got. That's Horus, isn't it? All right, I'll take that. I'll need it for my inquiry. You can go now. A bracelet. It couldn't be a better lead. Why not leave a calling card while you're at it? The first mate doesn't seem very concerned. Will he really form a search party to find Aura? Tommy has trusted the first mate, but there is something very strange about him, and Siebert is suspicious. I demand to be released! You have no right to keep me here! Tell me what this is all about. What is what all about? Do you recognize this? Did you leave this clue on purpose? I don't know what you mean! It was your little seal friend who found it. Are there any more clues like this lying around? Perhaps you put them all over the place, like Hansel and Gretel in their breadcrumbs, eh? Tell me! I have absolutely no idea what you are talking about! You're going to tell me the truth, you little runt! Talk, or else! Help! Tommy! Let me go, you pig! Tommy, I'm in here! Please help me! Silence! Shut up! You asked for it. Now I'm going to have to gag you. So all this waiting is driving me crazy. Oh, there you are, Seabird. Are you hungry again? Calm down, Seabird. The first mate says I'm supposed to wait here until he finds Aura. Sometimes I wonder about Seabird. I hope our explosion didn't shake him up too much. Darn. to get going. We'll let you know if we hear anything. Thanks. See you later. Oh, first mate. Any news? Uh, of course not. I mean nothing uh, new. I, not just yet. I, I'm working on it. Uh, we're looking. I'm thinking about it. You're hurt? No, it, it was just a baby seal that fell on my head. A baby seal? It's a paperweight in the form of a baby seal. I was rearranging my library when it fell on my head. Oh, and your finger? It bit me. The paperweight? A uh, first mate. First mate. Uh, what is it? Oh, no. That seal will be my downfall. Mm, sorry. I gotta rush off. Engine trouble. Uh, but, sir, that's not what I said. March. Take two men with you and find them. Quick. You have to find Aura before that kid gets wind of anything. There! That's better! Now I can get inside the restaurant and see Tommy! Ah! There they are! Oh. <laughs> well done, Seabird. Help 
me! I'm drowning! You must be Aura. The offenders? Glad you noticed. The first mate! And the prisoner! He must have found her! Let's get her! Looks like she's unconscious! Good! We can get her back to the first mate's cabin before that other kid sees her! So, he was the first mate all along! Aura! Tommy? Are you okay? Well, yeah, I think so. I'm sorry, Siebert. I didn't know what you were trying to say back there. Hello, Tommy. Looks like you found your friend. Tommy, you know the offenders? No, not really. We just met earlier. But you guys offered to help me before. I'll take you up on that now. Stall the first mate. He tried to kidnap Aura. Help! Tommy! Let her go. I've got her. Over here, man. Get over here, quick! Oh, you naughty boy! Oh, your splashing has made such a mess. I'm completely drenched. And my new swimsuit is ruined! Come on! This is our chance to make our getaway! You won't get away that easily! Don't let him follow us! Right, Mace? You got it! Here, you clown! Give me a hand! I can assure you, mister, that I am not a clown! Ace golfer, Harry Cover. I haven't been happy with the service on this ship since we started the crossing. This is the first time I couldn't practice my drives. The cabin walls have terrible rebounds. Hey! That shot. Beautiful drive. What's a name? First mate. Are you all right, sir? Wake up. Let's hide here where no one can see us. Quick, get in. Come on. Quiet. We can't let him hear us. He's heavy. Come on, sir. Where are they? Where are we? By the pool. No, stupid. Where are those rotten kids? They've taken one of the lifeboats. They're getting away. Getting away? Well, don't just stand there, you morons. Go after them. Aye, aye, aye sir. sir. We're having trouble composing a song. Would you mind giving it a try on our special effects guitar? He played that better than you do, mate. I guess we'd better find a new line of work. How's about the seafood market? No, thanks. We're vegetarians. That's all right. They're not fuzzy. The offenders are in trouble. Good. We'll get rid of those wimps, then deal with the others. Uh, how would you guys like some backstage passes? Bombs away! Come in, Graphite. Come in, Graphite. Thanks, mate. Can't a chap get any sleep around here? Go down there and arrest somebody. I'm telling you, Graphite, these kids are trouble. I need more time and money. And furthermore, uh, uh, hi, Captain. I was just ordering a pizza. Uh, do you want anything? What? What are you telling me? I don't think I heard that. I said two pepperoni pizzas with everything on it. Two pepper? What? I'm gonna kill you. I don't understand this kind of crazy stuff, and I don't have to pay for it anymore. What kind of crazy right. I, I say, I not a very friendly chap, is he? Uh, perhaps we should order Chinese food instead. We certainly didn't order sushi, did we? Something strange is going on here, and I'm gonna get to the bottom of it. This is your fault, you pesky pup. We got him, Captain. No, Captain, not them. It's the first mate you must arrest for kidnapping. Kidnapping? Uh, 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 yes, of course. 
You heard them. Arrest the first mate. Sorry about that. No bother. Happens all the time. I never should have listened to Graphite. Does this mean we don't get paid, boss? Oh! Hey, is anybody out here? Come in! Come in! What are you that doing? Graphite bro doesn't, doesn't give up, money. does he? No, he doesn't. Hello? I wish we could Come shut in. him up. Who's Why not let us play him a tune? Turn up the radio volume. I don't know what you're talking about with Pete and Hello! Hello! Who's out here? That did it. Blimey! Not bad! I used to play a little myself. Not that, kid! Ta -da. Not bad, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and we thought we'd seen the last of Graphite. He doesn't want our friends in Greenland, but they refuse to be intimidated. Their courage is certain to lead them into more adventures, and we'll be waiting for the next exciting episode of Seabird.